so welcome back to my channel so this is just a bit of a day in the life video i just basically filmed bits of what we got up to in the month of december um obviously i didn't film all the time but um just bits and pieces here and there i do appreciate all the support and thank you to those who have subscribed if you haven't please 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 go and hit the subscribe button turn on the notifications so that you are notified whenever i post new videos and hit the like button when you like the videos and enjoy the video so it's the first of december which obviously means we have to put up the christmas tree kids have been asking since the beginning of november to put the christmas tree up but we've managed to convince them to wait a little while um, but yeah there's no more waiting first of december christmas tree goes up <laughs> there we go. Wait. this one doesn't even need tinsel That's it. And the Christmas tree. It's looking pretty. How goes? So this is Mowgli. <laughs> it looks like Tethless. So Mowgli's the main instigator for scratching up my bed. For some reason he wakes me up at five o'clock just about every morning by scratching on the bed till I get out of bed and give him food. It's quite annoying. I won't lie, it's quite annoying. I bought these rolls of bubble wrap. I know it's going to look weird, but I'm going to put the bubble wrap all along the base of the bed and see if this helps to stop the cat from scratching it and waking me up in the mornings. So last night, our geezer burst. What the freaking is not me? Excuse me for whispering, kids are still sleeping, school holidays, but I just wanted to show you a really nifty little trick I thought would come in handy if uh, any of you guys are out of water, so let me go show you. Okay, so this is my cool party trick I wanted to show you. All you do is pierce a hole in your bottle, make sure it's got a lid on. This is all fresh water, which we've kept. And then as soon as you release the cap, the water comes out and you can wash your hands. Close the lid again and it goes off. Fantastic. I thought it was a brilliant idea. Nice. That's the damaged ceiling. It was all dripping through there. And it's literally all over the bathroom floor at the moment. So we've literally just had a downpour of rain. So I've managed to 
full of the bucket which has been dripping from that section there which we filled up within like five minutes so that will be toilet water later so this is just a quick update on the geyser which has still not yet been replaced so we go second night with no geyser the problem is this hole is just getting worse that there is going to be broken by the by tomorrow morning i guarantee you and our bathroom is literally just going to be covered with ceiling board and water watch this space the next morning good morning everybody next day thankfully the ceiling has survived the night and there's no more water dripping out so i think we're safe i don't think that the ceiling is going to collapse on us now it's just to get the insurance company to fix this luckily i managed to have a bath um i basically just boiled some two pots of water on the stove and had some um water which we bought from the shop and just did a really shallow bath but at least i managed to wash my hair um and yeah so i'm just hoping this geezer gets sorted today because oh my gosh it's what a nightmare geezer update they've replaced the geezer and they've installed it outside rather than putting it back in the ceiling much better plan morning today is the 18th of december kiara's 14th birthday she had two friends sleep over they just woke up opened some presents and they had the best breakfast ever birthday cake It means you need to exercise. <laughs> yes, it's a hint. So this is our house at the moment after a sleepover. Chaos. More chaos, more chaos, but that's not the girl's fault, and even more chaos. There's just stuff everywhere. There's just literally stuff everywhere. Have my mouth shut up for like, um, like, like, like for the rest of the day, please. You've just had cake. And for the rest of the day, I won't have anything else. You promise? Mm -hmm. Where's your party pack? I guess I should get started. <laughs> 72 hours later. So it's been a few days since I filmed last. Um, I just wanted to fill you in on a couple things. It's um, two days before Christmas. So I'm on my way to the mall at the moment just to get the last few little things. So yesterday we had quite a major hailstorm in our town. There's been quite a lot of damage um, done to parts of town. Uh, cars have been smashed and trees are all over the place and people's windows have been broken and yeah, so some, some hectic damage. Ashback. A flashback. But for now, I'm on my way to the mall, and uh, yeah, I'm driving in 
some horrible weather. So there's a tree that's fallen down. It's just one this time. Yeah, so that road is completely blocked off. Hectic. 16 degrees, South Africa, mid-December, and this is the weather. Clara's busy baking brownies for tomorrow. So she's baked one batch, which is busy cooling. Actually looks pretty good. Now she's making a second batch, and we'll see how those turn out. Yeah. So far so good. I'm gonna make a cauliflower broccoli salad for tomorrow, and a potato salad, but we'll get to all of that later. Right now, I'm gonna be making some burgers, mini burgers. Uh, Mini burgers, some little sausage rolls, pizza, and I can't remember what else. But yeah, that's going to be our nuggets. little chicken nuggets, chicken and cheese, chicken and cheese, and that's going to be supper, snacky supper, and movie. Mm -hmm. What movie are we going to watch? The Grinch. We found the Grinch. We're watching the Grinch. Everyone's chilling in the dark. Later. So the movie's over. I've cleaned up the kitchen. All the presents were wrapped. And I put them by the tree. And kids are in bed. So they are probably gonna wake us up at... I thought you were in bed. <laughs> Probably gonna wake us up at five o'clock or something. Let's see. Now that they're bigger, maybe they're not gonna wake up so early. Just go to bed. So Santa can bring you your presents. <laughs> <laughs> Another one that I thought was supposed to be sleeping. Huh? I thought you were sleeping. Did you see that? Huh? You see that, that, that fucking camera Did uh -uh. you film it? No, you're supposed to be in bed. Yeah, I'm putting presents around. Okay, because you're. It just means if you go to bed early, you can get to open presents quicker. Yeah. I'm just gonna sort out the rest of the brownies, get a few more things ready for tomorrow, and then off to bed. Let's see you in the morning. Morning, everybody. Merry Christmas. It's um, now Christmas Day. I'm talking softly because. Um, Callum's actually still sleeping. It's now, it's now 10 to 8 and he's still sleeping. I actually, I can't believe it. It's the first time, first year of Christmas that we've had to wait until 8 o'clock to open presents. The kids are normally up at like 5, 6 o'clock, so yeah, it's a bit of a shock. I've already had a shower, washed my hair, so um, yeah, let's just get on with the day. This year for New Year, we stayed home because of COVID, we didn't make any plans. Tradition when we stay home is to watch the Dinner for One program, which the kids just love. And we have a good chuckle. And then we played some games and waited up till the New Year. And we cracked open some non-alcoholic champagne and just enjoyed a bit of time together. And um, basically that was our evening. <laughs> Okay, no more in the air.